Let's go to our third topic. Should be interesting. Have you heard the Arkansas rumors? Uh, the Arkansas rumors did come across my desk, yes. Do I need to like lay the ground of what the Arkansas rumors are before I ask you what you think of the Arkansas rumors? Uh, yes, but before you do that, uh, we will currently be suspending the filming of The Real Housewives of Champagne for the rest of the season as we look to uh, get a fresh start uh, on some drama. And season four of Real Housewives will actually be shifting to uh, Fayetteville. I didn't know that. Uh, I'm going to have to really adjust my production schedule, but okay. All right. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, okay. Everyone knows that Eric Musselman's team is falling apart. Um, that's been abundantly clear over the last month where this team has headed worse and worse results, kind of baffling results to be honest, because this team has talent. They were playing competitive. They beat Duke in November at home. Uh, they've now lost six of their last seven. The only win being a one point win at home over Texas A&M and in that spam. Most of the losses are in blowout fashion, body language stuff galore looks horrible. Musselman has started like uh, all his bench guys one game. He's played like the, the the end of bench guys. He's played everybody like 10 minutes in a game. It's just chaotic. It's a mess. There's rumors that Musk wants to leave all of that. Well, yesterday, the internet did what the internet does and broke some crazy rumors. I'm not going to read them word for word, and I'm also not going to name any player names just because uh, I want to be fair because th these are pretty strange rumors, to say the least, uh, pretty unique rumors in the college basketball landscape. But the rumor was that two Arkansas players – uh, we're in the middle of a love affair, Carter, with each other, and that a third Arkansas player may have had a uh, romantic interaction with one of the two other Arkansas players that had a romantic relationship already, thus leading to a tailspin of uh, chaotic locker room energy, negativity, leading to where we are now. Uh, now, again, these are rumors. These are rumors. Just rumors. Crazy rumors, but rumors. Um, players have left the Arkansas program. Do with that what you will. It, it's weird. Weird times right now. Throw it to you. Uh, what are your thoughts on this insane Arkansas rumor? Uh, I mean, well, you know, the thing is that people don't realize is that College basketball are a bunch of college kids. Sometimes that really gets lost in the mix. And there's drama on basketball teams all the time. I speak to, as being a Michigan State fan, like, you know this too, Greg. Like, there was so much drama, like, around players being with other players, wives, girlfriends, like, all types of stuff like that, especially, like, back in the day with Michigan State teams. Like, that was always something that, like, happened. This is a uniquely different situation. Uh, obviously, but it, I think what it does is it gives you a clear picture on maybe why this Arkansas team is in tailspin, because I don't know if this is, if this rumor is true, it would make sense why the team is struggling because I don't know how you kind of are able to focus on winning basketball games with that type of like drama and controversy going on in the own locker room. And also, it's not like this guy keeps going in my locker and stealing, you know, my candy bars that I get from my NIL deal. It's that it, it ain't like that. It's something way deeper than that and way more serious than that. So it it would it would point to the dysfunction of Arkansas's basketball team and why there's rumors out there that Muss is shopping himself around to go to other to be coaches and get feelers at other schools. Um, so because I don't know how Arkansas basketball players are able to focus on basketball, uh, with that type of drama surrounding the team, surrounding the team too by like actual players on the team. Like it's not outside sources. This is happening in the locker. This is something that's happened. This is something that's hitting close to home for all the players. So uh, that's it's just it's a truly wild, wild rumor. Yeah. Um. I it, like. I think Musk was already rumored out and wanting out, but, um, you know, I, I also will say this. I don't, I don't think I believe this. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I believe it. And there's a lot of people like piling on being like, well, I talked to, I talked to this person on this staff at this place. And 
none of it is direct from Arkansas. It's all just like complete hearsay and it's nonsense. And um, just a couple things here. Like there, there definitely are gay college athletes like that. There definitely are. And I, I don't think like, I don't want there to be a conclusion here that like, Oh, like Arkansas had gay players and that's why the season fell off. Like, I think there can be great teams that have gay college basketball players. Um, I I think this is a crazy concept to, to process. If it is true, I would be surprised just because it seems so unique, but also if it is true, like I I just, there's something weird about like the Arkansas fan base and opposing fan bases of Arkansas being like, they had three gay dudes and that's why they suck at basketball. Like, ah, right. that, I just, that, that ain't it. it. It's it's the drama. Or sur- surround. It's not the, it's not the actual acts or anything like that. It's, it's like if I was on a basketball team and some guy slept, uh, one of my teammates slept with my girlfriend, like that's gonna, that's gonna create a rift. That's going to create drama. Yeah. And this rumor points to that same type of situation happening in yeah. a different sense of the term. So with, with that said, the, 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 the real thing that creates the drama. The, for sure. The 30 for 30 on Arkansas basketball one day will be incredible from this season, though. I'm excited for that. Um, have you ever – you've played college basketball, of course, right? Have you ever been in love with a teammate? Have you ever been in love with a teammate? Yeah. No, I've loved it all my – I've loved some of my teammates, like as brothers, but never romantically. I just like, I mean, you're you're a lovey guy. Like, there's a lot of love in that heart. You got a big heart. Yeah, I mean, but also like, I'm not even joking or making this up. One of my teammates came out as gay like four years ago, and I mean, we all knew when we played with them. Like we yeah. we just, yeah. like we knew that. So it, I I don't think we ever treated them differently or anything like that. It was just like a like he wants to. Like that's his choice. Like he can do it in his own time. He can do whatever. Like yeah, we just, weren't even surprised when it it was a type where he came out. We weren't we weren't surprised. Like yeah, we're like yeah, we kind of knew. But like, good for you for going out and you know coming out and being being yourself. But it's 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 way more common, I think, than people realize. Yeah, yeah. Just maybe not that maybe not that exact act that's going on in Arkansas right now. But like the 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 other thing you spoke to. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what's up. Go get us that 20 and six tonight. Like, okay. right. Like I'm like, I'm I'm like my brother, like my brother in Christ, make a free throw. That's all I really care about. <laughs> like, I want to win. I want to win this damn game. Do whatever you want afterwards. Yeah. Uh, the, the last thing I'll say on this is I, the reality is we're never going to get like confirmation of this, which makes it gross. Like this is probably the last time we're ever going to mention it. And we felt honestly, we're, we're talking about this because we were short on topics today and this was, the most interesting thing that happened in college basketball last night. But I think like there, it's not like there's going to be a moment where it's like, yup, true. Like no one, no one on Arkansas is ever going to confirm this. So it's just going to be internet message board, chaotic rumors and people saying it's true. Some people saying it's not true. We're likely never going to know, but um, I I'd be shocked if Eric Musselman is back at Arkansas next year, based on uh, the basketball performance more than anything else and if there are things causing that basketball performance beyond basketball who knows what they are that's all we'll say let's